Okay, so in previous videos we've looked at the grouping of plants and animals, classifying organisms, the Latin and scientific name, adaptations, and survival and competition. So we're going to have a look at biodiversity now. So what is biodiversity? It's the variety of plants and animals living within an area. Now we have areas on the, in the globe, very high biodiversity, but also some areas of low biodiversity. So let's have a look at this. So this is a rainforest. This is from the Amazon. And you can just see, looking at this, the very, very different numbers of plants, different plant species. And also in this little river here, you've probably got lots of different species of fish, lots of different mammal species over here. So this rainforest is a great example of very, very high biodiversity. So is a woodland. So thinking of our Dell at school, all the different plant species that live there, all the different animals, foxes, owls, mice, um, some really, really high biodiversity. Another example is a coral reef. So you can just see from the image here just the different numbers of species of fish, various different corals, um, different invertebrates. You've got a starfish here, we've got a crab. So a coral reef is also a good example of high biodiversity. So lots of plants and animals living in one place. Now the opposite of that is low biodiversity. So if we looked at the Arctic, for example, because it's such an extreme environment, it's very, very cold. Um, a lot of the water is locked up as ice. You'll tend to find very few plants. It's a very difficult environment to live in. So you only get specialist animals, say like the polar bear here, that can adapt to live in this environment. So uh, the Arctic, or the Antarctic, um, a very good example of low biodiversity. So is the desert. Again, very, very harsh. Kind of the opposite of the Arctic, though, in terms of temperature. It's very hot. It's very, very dry there. It doesn't rain very often. And one you may not think about is farmland. So all of this farmland here, this may have been woodland at one point in the past. It's been cleared away. This is called monoculture. So we basically got, I don't know what these are, maybe lettuce or something like that. And the farmer has just planted the same plant. And we'll probably use lots of pesticides to kill off insects, herbicides to kill off weeds. So farmland is a good example of low biodiversity. Yes, there's a lot of plants here, but they're all of the same species because that's what the farmer is growing. So we've looked at biodiversity. It's a variety of plants and animals living in an area. We've looked at some examples of where we have high biodiversity. And then we've looked at where we have low biodiversity, where you have very few plants and animals.